Hi, welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time. This is Stacey's Bookcase where I like to talk about books, and today I'm going to do my March wrap up. So I started March reading, uh, there were two books that I had started in February that I read into March. The first one was Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. I have posted a review for this. I did enjoy it. I really enjoy Toni Morrison's writing and I really, really like her characters and how complicated they are. I like the way that she presents their motivations and reveals them. It's not light and fluffy by any means, but very moving and um, emotional. I also read uh, The Aeronauts Windless. I started this in February and read it into uh, March and finished it in March. I really enjoyed this as well for completely different reasons. This was a really fun read, uh, very fast, action-packed. Um, it's a somewhat steampunk themed setting, but it's definitely more fantasy. It's not like very Victorian England like most uh, steampunk that I see is set in. Uh, this is uh, set in a fantasy world where all humans live on great spires. I've also posted a review for this too, so you'll see that. So these were two books that I had to read for my Slay the Dragon Queen uh, TBR game. I'm reluctant to call it a TBR game because it's not like determining my whole TBR. It's just kind of a, a it's just a rolling the dice game to see if I could potentially read certain books in the coming month. Yeah. So these were two books that I had to read. If I didn't read them, I had to get rid of them, but I did. So we're all set there. Uh, and then I also read The Sandman by Neil Gaiman. So this is something I picked up at a discount store. It was on sale and I couldn't help myself because I do, I did really want to continue the Neil Gaiman series, but for some reason I couldn't get my hands on volume two, The Doll's House. Uh, I could have ordered it online, but I didn't want to. I just wanted to find it and I couldn't find it. And then I saw this and was like, oh, this is perfect. It's got a whole bunch of the salmon in it. Um, but it was kind of difficult to read because it's really, really heavy. Definitely not meant to be read. This is probably more decorative to put on your shelf and look cool, but eh, whatever. I read from it and it was very bulky and heavy and difficult at times. But besides that, I really enjoyed reading The Sandman and it was not what I expected. The the way it went, the way the stories were told. I wasn't expecting the Sandman to play sort of a background role in some of the stories. He definitely just seems to be there in the background to be, to come in sort of at the end or like poke his head in every once in a while. There were a couple stories that like featured him heavily, heavily but there were also a lot about other characters as well. And I, I liked that. I do look forward to continuing the series and I'm debating whether or not I want to get the next omnibus because it would look good with my first omnibus. But at the same time, it'll be more difficult to read. So yeah, still debating that. Probably just depends on whatever I find first. That's something I am looking forward to continuing. I also read Running With Scissors by Augustin Burroughs. This was very interesting read. It surprised me a lot. I had no idea what I was getting into when I started reading it. I vaguely recall there being a movie and watching it a long time ago, but even reading it didn't really make me remember the movie all that much. Uh, so yeah, it was pretty crazy. It blows my mind that this is a memoir, so this is based on true events um, that actually happened to this to this guy. This is about his teenage years uh, growing up with a mother who suffers from mental illness and uh, living with her as well as her shrink and 
his family and his family's plethora of problems uh, and trying to figure himself out and figure out what is right and what is wrong and who's crazy and who's not. I'll also be posting a review for this book soon at some point. And then in, I also started, I haven't finished yet, Bone Shaker by Sherry Priest. I am almost halfway through now. I'm at 176 pages out of 400 and something. So yeah, this is another steampunk book set in northwestern America. Uh, although at this time it's not America yet. This is set during the Civil War. I'm pretty sure the North and the South are fighting, but also Washington State isn't a state yet. It's not a part of America. Um, I it, I think it's like an alternative history thing because it seems like the war is going on way beyond what it, it should have gone on. I think there's someone uh, who, like a colonel who's supposed to have died and didn't die. I, I, might, have, I might be just reading that wrong. So this is set um, up near Seattle. And Seattle is walled off because, well, there are zombies. And I am not a huge fan of zombies, but I decided to give this a shot uh, because I like steampunk and I also really liked the cover. <laughs> so I know that that's not a great reason to buy a book, but it was also like $2. But I am enjoying it enough to continue. It's not freaking me out that much. There have only been a couple of scenes with zombies in it so far. So I've been able to push through and I'm curious to know where this goes because I know that there are other books in this series. Um, I think the second book, it doesn't follow the same cast of characters but then connects at the end with this book or people meet up at the end. I think that's what I read when I was trying to figure out the reading order. Um, so I think there's a lot more to this than just this zombie city and the conflict that's going on in this. I think there's some stuff going on behind the scenes that we haven't quite figured out yet. So depending on how this book ends, I might continue the series. I mean, I have the second book, so I'll probably read it, but beyond that, I'm not sure. Yeah, so I've been reading this and then I've also been reading Dead House Gates and I am 49% of the way through that. I've been reading the ebook uh, because I couldn't find the physical book at my bookstore. And I really, really like it. There are some things that have bothered me, but overall, I'm really enjoying it. I like these new characters that have been introduced. I don't mind that it's like really far away from everything in the first book. I mean, there's some stuff, there's some characters that have rolled over, but not a lot. Uh, but the new setting, the new characters, the new conflicts are just as interesting as they were in the first book. So I'm really enjoying that and I might finish it before the month ends. Uh, I'm recording this on the 28th. So we still have a few days. I might finish that. I don't think I'm gonna finish Bone Shaker because I really wanna continue reading Dead House Gates. So I'll probably finish that and then continue with this. Although I'm trying to pick this up every once in a while so it doesn't sort of become stale or I just never pick it up again. <laughs> so yeah, that's how my month of March has been going or has gone. It was a good month. Nothing that I didn't like. I didn't have any bad reads. Oh, and I forgot because I don't have the book. I also read I'm Staying Here by Marco Balzano. Yep, uh, by Marco Balzano. Uh, that's a historical fiction book set during or before World War II and then into World War II. Uh, that is set in a village in northern Italy that is sort of stuck in between Italy and Germany 
their residents are German uh, and they're but they're Italian in a sense that they're in Italy anyway there's a lot of conflict there and it deals with some characters uh, that live in the village that was also a good read I enjoyed it it was an interesting perspective uh, the way the story was told was different I liked reading a book set during the war that's that was about a remote village so it's not right in the middle of everything it's sort of really far and detached actually but it's still uh, heavily afflicted, affected by the events going on around the world so yeah that was really interesting uh, I am going to be posting reviews while well, I have posted a review for Song of Solomon and the Aeronauts Windless. I will be reposting a review for I'm Staying Here and The Sandman, so keep an eye out for those. If your curiosity is piqued uh, about any of these books, you can check those out and see if they're worth uh, continuing to pursue, I guess. I had a pretty good month. I am looking forward to the sequel. It is not out yet, and it's been a very long time since I have anticipated a new release. Most of the books that I read are older. Uh, I don't read a lot of like new releases, so I don't really need to worry about sequels that haven't been released yet. Uh, and so it's been a while that I've had to sort of wait for something, which sucks, but gives me something to look forward to. So let me know if any of these books sounded interesting to you, if you are thinking about picking any of them up, or if you have read them, let me know what your thoughts were. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.